Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 19th of 2019. Well, it is titled Milky Way over Uruguayan Lighthouse. So what do we see here? Well, the lighthouse here in the foreground and looking up towards the top of the lighthouse and specifically timed, of course, to be able to see the Milky Way galaxy here up above. Now the Milky Way galaxy is our own spiral galaxy as we see it from within. So that's why it does not look like other spiral galaxies that we look at where we see the grand spiral arms coming out from the central portions. If we could travel tens of thousands of light years up above our galaxy and look back down on it, that is what we would see. However, when we're within our galaxy, we see it from what we call an edge on view. So we are seeing the edge view of the uh, galaxy, much as we see other edge on spiral galaxies, and it actually looks very similar to those, except that it is much larger stretching across the sky. But we see the same star clouds and dust clouds that we associate with the disk of a spiral galaxy. And the dust does things like block out the light from behind it. So when you see some brighter areas here, and then all of a sudden it gets dark, that's because there's so much dust in those regions that the light no longer reaches us. Were there no dust, the, the, the galaxy would be much more uniform in brightness. You would see it getting brighter and brighter as you go towards that central portion, which is actually blocked out from our view. Also within the central parts of the galaxy, we'll see pink hydrogen regions from ionized hydrogen from young stars and the blue uh, star clusters, open star clusters, again, both associated with star formation that require that gas and dust to be able to form. So spiral galaxies like our own are known for star formation. They have a cold gas and dust that is able to form into new generations of stars. Other types of galaxies may not be or, or are not like this that do not continually form stars. And in fact, many of them have not formed stars for many billions of years. So here we also see something a little bit closer the one bright object just up above and to the right of the lighthouse is actually within our solar system so that is the planet Jupiter the largest planet in the solar system now it happens to appear to be in the same direction as the Milky Way and as with anything in the solar system it is within our Milky Way itself. However the distance perspective is lost when we take pictures of the sky. We don't see whether things are within our solar system or nearby stars as we see scattered around this image or the more distant stars associated with the disk of our galaxy. Everything really seems like it is attached to a great celestial sphere out in space. And in this case, up above, shining up above the lighthouse here in the foreground. So that was our picture of the day for November the 19th of 2019. It was titled Milky Way over Uruguayan Lighthouse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be perturbed galaxies. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.